Hey, it's Kier. And hey, it's Tommy. And welcome to our April manga haul. We definitely lied when we said that our collection video was going to be the next video that went up, as you can tell by the fact that it's another haul video, but our collection is getting filmed immediately after this video, so it will be up next week. For sure. Um, this month was super hectic for us. It flew by. And I mean, you can blame Elden Ring and tax season on that. It's been crazy hectic. So um, we're definitely happy to be filming again. And we're gonna hop right into this haul. Um, we got some crazy stuff this month. And I know that, that we say that every month, but y'all may be actually really surprised when you see what we picked up this month. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we might as well get right into it. Um, we're gonna start with some ongoings and then go from there. Alright, so first off for my stack of manga, um, and as you can see I have a duplicate here. So the first thing I got was Lovesick Ellie Volume 3, and I actually haven't read this volume yet. I read the first two and I'm loving this series, it's really really good. So looking forward to reading this one. As you guys can tell, Kier has a hobby of buying stuff online and then going to Barnes & Noble and picking it oh right back God. up. This is actually every single volume of this manga I have bought twice. Um, I guess it's because I really love it. I don't know. I can't wait. And then I don't realize I have two of it until literally we do the haul. And I'm like, oh, oops. Oh. So one of these has to get returned. But love, love, love this series. Another series I'm loving is Skippin' Loafer Volume 4. I feel like these volumes are coming out pretty fast, so I'm very, very happy for that. This is just so cute and so funny. And then another one that I'm really loving, like, can y'all tell? Um, Sasaki and Miyano Volume 5. I always hype this up. This volume felt like it took forever to come out. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this, but super super good if y'all haven't checked out the anime there is a really good anime for this as well and just highly recommend this series and then i decided to start a new series that i've been seeing some things about and that was rose and blood i got volumes one and two and i have not read it yet but i'm really looking forward to reading it um in the next month so very excited for that i always love vampire series so all right so for my ongoings we got chainsaw man volume 10 here and uh, yeah, we love, love, love this cover. Um, Makamo with the dump. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. But um, obviously we don't love what goes on in this volume. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, we're coming up on the end here. Um, yeah, just one more volume. I believe volume 11 comes out in June and I'll be super glad to finally have Chainsaw Man done uh, until part two, of course. And then we got Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Um, I'm a little behind. I think uh, we both are. Yeah, I haven't volume. read since volume seven, I believe. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we're definitely this is definitely a series we're still getting, still collecting, picking up, because we love this series a lot. Um, another and, series we love a lot. Yeah, another series we love a lot. We got Kaguya-sama Love Is War Volume Twenty Two. The new series just, I mean, the new season just came out, and we're we're watching every week. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, it's so much fun to watch these episodes together. We just get so hyped over what's going on. It's so fun. <laughs> Yo, this this series we really having us geeking when we're read. I mean, when we're watching it. Oh my gosh! Like it just, it's so funny, so cute. It's hilarious. Like love this series. And then uh, this is a Cure series. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's more. It should be more up my alley. I just really haven't given it the time of day. Like I'm kind of just ignoring it for no reason. <laughs> we got Record of Ragnar. <clears throat> excuse me, Record of Ragnarok Volume Two. Um, I mean, I think that's Adam on the left. So I couldn't tell you who that is on the right. Like, I don't know. Uh, Kira, have you read any of this? No, not yet. All right, Kira keeps picking it up. I think she's trying to tell me to read it. So I guess I got to be the one to uh, <laughs> start reading it. All right, so next for me is um, two series that I completed this month, uh, which is always nice to cross one thing off the list. And that is, the first one is High Rise Invasion got 17 and 18 and 19 through 21 dun, dun. and i've heard mixed things now me and tommy watched the anime having never <laughs> read the manga and we were gas like we really liked the, the anime and then everyone was talking crap about the anime but then i heard people saying bad things about the manga like i'm like i don't know <laughs> is which one's better but oh we're very, very excited to read this i think um from what i heard we're not even supposed to meet this guy on the cover till around here and he was uh, definitely in the anime. He was in that 12 episode anime. You can see how many volumes this is. I don't know. Um, all I can say is that we had fun. Yeah, we definitely did. We had fun. fun. So I'm looking forward to reading this and hopefully it's good. Um, and then the other thing that I completed this month was Oku volume 19. And I was so very excited to 
get this volume and I'm definitely gonna binge this whole series this month um, I had started this series a while back and I've definitely talked about it on this channel before but um, I'm very very excited I'm probably gonna go back and start from the beginning and then just go through the whole thing because I'm really really looking forward to this all right so another series that I finished or I guess this would be my first uh, we have oh my god it's volume one uh, I picked up two through six of the Amis but I didn't have volume one or it didn't come with volume one so definitely have that now um, I actually read I believe the first chapter and a half uh, while just sitting there flipping through it real quick and it was I was liking it so far so I'm definitely excited to keep reading this series and see what it's about all right so this time I also have two more series and this is gonna be um, one of them is one that I don't have any volumes of yet and that is Mason Ikoku and I always knew I wanted to get it in these single editions even though Viz released those really nice like omnibus editions recently like the collector's editions I think they are but I have the rest of her works in single so I just wanted to keep with that trend and I knew I wanted the white um, editor choice spines so Tommy found these for me I'm very very thankful so I got volumes one through seven here I couldn't tell you what this series is about, honestly. It looks like very, very varied in what's on the covers. <laughs> I've always heard really, really good things about this series, and I'm really excited. I love Rumiko Takahashi, if y'all don't know by now. Um, I also got volumes 11 through 15, so I'm just missing a few volumes. And then I'll have one more volume to show y'all. And that is volume 10. That we actually got a volume 10 but it is a library hardcover um that came with the lot and uh so yeah we definitely will be getting rid of this one um but it did come with volume 10 so that was one lot that we bought and then also tommy was able to pick these up from our good buddy the manga sloth thank you the manga sloth and that is some more in the yasha fun so you can see i have 34 here and then 40 46 through 49, 52, 53, and 54. So this was a big chunk of Inuyasha that I was missing. And I'm just that much closer to completing the set. I think I have how many more volumes? 15 more volumes to go, maybe? Right. About that I'm missing. But I'm cool. My bad, y'all. I'm getting there all the time. And yeah, I just slowly but surely collecting this. I've been working on it for probably three years now. And I think I'm finally going to get it done this year, and that's really, really exciting. So, let's hope. Alright, so here's me closing some more loose ends. I've got Jormungand, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. Well, I might as well say it's 1 through 11, minus Volume 6. But, I picked up Volume 6 last month, or maybe that was two months ago now. And that is all good. But what I did want to say is I picked all of these up off of a Libris, I think it's how you say it. And yeah, that's honestly a really, really good website to find stuff that you need kind of in bulk. That makes sense. That's like still in print or whatever. Yeah, uh, Libris is pretty good for that. So I do recommend them for sure. All right. Now comes a series that was on our wish list for 2021. Right. That we did not get and um, finally got it. Picked it up from my friend Kazzy. Um, so thank you so much, Kazzy. And that is Requiem of the Rose King. And I'm very, very excited to read this. This is by Ayakano, who is the same mangaka that did Otoman, which is another series that I'm in the middle of reading and I'm really, really enjoying. And this is based off of, I actually don't remember now. Let me see if it says here. Based on Henry the Sixth and Richard the Third by William Shakespeare. Don't ask me what that's about because I don't know. <laughs> but I've heard really high praises for this series. I'm trying not to get my expectations too high because I don't want to like um disappoint yourself. Yeah, I don't want to be disappointed if it doesn't live up to what I'm thinking. Um, but I'm just trying to go in with the open mind and then hopefully, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this series. Which I think I will because I really do enjoy this mangaka's other work. I really like this cover. Well, all these covers are actually really, really nice, yeah, like, to be I'm... honest. Like, oh my goodness. Um, so super, super excited 
to start this series and once again thank you so much Kazzy for letting me get this off of you um uh, I'm very very excited to start this one all right now we got a goofy series because <laughs> <laughs> if this is one of your favorite series like please don't mind us yeah I'm sorry if I'm slandering one of your favorites but um a good friend of ours Donnie sent this to us and this is Buso Rankin volume one um we joke about this series because I told him ah, there's no way I'm ever picking this series up and he sent it anyway so I'm like this is like he loves the series so they always are bickering back and forth about it yeah so if this is one of your favorite series I'm sorry he tells me that it's really good if it's that good like please let us know so that we can actually read it but yeah um this is actually by the same mangaka that did Roroni Kenshin um if you didn't know uh so yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm like not high on this series at all. So yeah, just, we just have it now. So <laughs> <laughs> boost our ranking volume one. Yeah, definitely very funny. All right. So y'all know I got to have some shoujo or some BL in every haul. So here is the BL for this month. And I got links. Um, this is by the same Makaka as Given. And I think this follows four guys. Um, I'm really not sure because I haven't read it yet. It's just a one shot. Um, kind of a thicky. There we go. Kind of a thicky, but um, I'm looking forward to reading that. I've heard mixed reviews. And then another series, Seven Days. I actually got this from Kazzy also. And um, this is a two volume series. And so this is like the omnibus, um, but definitely looking forward to reading this one also. Um, I've been seeing this one in the store for years and have never read it yet. So definitely looking forward to it. All right, so these next two series are big ones for the collection. Um, very uh, exciting very exciting pickups yeah definitely very exciting pickups uh yeah both definitely been on our radar for a very long time so i mean let me just jump right into it the first series is bocorano hours off of my wish list for this year so i'm super excited yeah uh kier actually gets to scratch one off her wish list finally i mean she rarely does get to but there's two in <laughs> one video so i mean that's got to be commended so actually, I decided to read some of this series before I actually got into this haul video. And I've got to about volume six, I believe. And yeah, so far the series is pretty dark. Not as dark as I expected. I mean, I, I'm usually expecting some crazy stuff, but I heard as I get to the end, it should get way crazier. So we'll see, but- Is that why the volumes are mad out of order? <laughs> yeah, um, I, was, I was reading this, so don't mind me. But so far, so good. I am enjoying this series for sure. Um, if you don't know what it's about, it's about some kids that have to save some planet. I mean, I said some planets. Some kids that have to save the planet uh, using this giant robot. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Definitely check it out if you want to know the rest. All right. Last but definitely not least. Yeah, not least at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe we have this. That is Emma in the hardcovers. Oh my gosh. Like, this is crazy to me. And um, what's funny about this is that we actually thought this was a fake listing whenever we went to buy it. Yeah, um, it was definitely funny when I saw the listing because I'm just looking at it. I'm like, man, something really seems off about this. I couldn't pinpoint it at first. Uh, I'm like, all right, I'm looking at it. I'm like, is this fake manga? Can't be fake manga. I see the Yen Press logo. Like, that's like the, the number one thing. And then I'm just looking at this volume. I'm like, Emma volume four is that like really hard to find volume. I'm like, why does it look like this? I'm like, why doesn't it have that like green, that green color? I'm like, I mean, it's sort of green, but like, why is it not that like green spot? That you usually see in every single picture ever yeah, of this series. Where you see the main character and you just see some like, I think some greenery in the background. And as you can see, that's when I messaged a seller and I asked him a question and they said, well, actually, Emma has slip covers and this is actually why. And I said, oh my goodness. Yeah, I did not, had no idea this series was gonna have reversible slip covers, which is really cool because that means it has 10, like, yeah, 10 different spines and 10 different covers instead of just five, right. which is pretty cool. Because these are two in one, so it's one from each cover of the original print, or I guess what the covers actually look like. So that was definitely a cool um, addition for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, super, super happy to have this in the collection. And I cannot believe this. So definitely, since we got these, y'all know what's coming next. And we have got to pick up a bride story. Yes, for sure. These are two series I don't hear enough about. <laughs> I'm not you know, it kind of, It's the opposite. I will say, yeah, lately that they've been, a lot of people have been talking about um, a bride story, which is kind of cool. 
yeah um definitely would be glad to pick that up maybe on the next right stuff sale i need to get another manga off my wish list i need to stat pad <laughs> yeah kira's kind of, kind of been going crazy lately with these wish list finds uh this wasn't on the wish list but uh i mean i don't think either of us expected to pick it up so that's pretty uh crazy to me yeah super excited so definitely the best pickup this month all right so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching Thank y'all. This call went crazy. We're definitely very, very happy um, for all of these pickups this month. And like we said, now we have to put all this manga away because we are about to film our collection video. So look forward to that. Yeah, thankfully, Cure and I <laughs> did a lot of organizing before this video came out. So it shouldn't be stressful in the least bit to put these up. Um, next month not so much but i mean maybe even more so so we're definitely running out of room again um as y'all know we kind of fit as much in our room as possible um so it'll be interesting to see what we have to do moving forward in order to put all our manga away uh tetris is getting more and more uh what is that frequent in this room <laughs> yes so y'all can definitely look forward to that if y'all want to see how to you know fit all your manga in one space because we're definitely having to having some struggles over here for sure well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. See y'all next time.